And that's still not the checkpoint? Are you kidding? Hey, it's Tommy Gunn from Cracked Rabbit Gaming, and we are playing some Trials Rising. The new DLC is Crash and Sunburn, so we are going to play the extreme tracks. I've already played everything up to the extremes, and I actually did play one of the extreme tracks. I already got gold, at least gold, on everything. So here is one of the new extreme tracks. This is the one that I just did one time. I did it with the Mantis bike. We are gonna try it with the bicycle because the bicycle is actually really overpowered in a lot of tracks because it can grip everything. You can go straight up walls with it. It's just not as fast as the Mantis motorcycle. So we'll see if we can do any better. I'm not gonna try to go for any high scores here. I'm simply going to try to pass. All right. Okay, not too bad. Ah! Okay. We got that. I don't know. I should just try to land with two wheels here. Or if I want a rear wheel bounce. Yeah. Okay, there we go. And we're gonna fall down there, but whatever, we already made it. No! Yeah, well this one's kind of tricky to keep your rear wheel getting traction. This one seems to be a little tricky on the bike. This one really might be easier with the Mantis just because you have a little bit more speed. Plus it's easier to fender grab. Oh! Oh! Got it! Alright, well... <laughs> Okay, we're just dropping straight down. Shoot. Oh no! Well, that sucks. Oh man. Can I get up? Okay. So we have to hop. Oh, shoot. Okay. Yes, got it. This might be something you have to do all in one go. Dang. Okay, there we go. Oh! No, shoot. I should have gone forward more. No, I had that. Oh, oh, no, 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 no. Dang it. All right. speed. It's hard to get the speed for the last one. So 
So I don't know if I should go slower on the first one so I can get... Never mind. Got it. Alright. <laughs> oh, we got silver. Not going for a great medal this time. Just trying to pass it. That's only my second time playing that course. Alright, which one should we do next? Guess we can try Frozen Leviathan. So we're gonna use the bicycle again. Hopefully it works out. I've never seen this track before, so I don't know what to expect. Okay, I figured that was gonna happen. Okay. So now, just a big hop. Oh, we gotta, gotta hop twice. And we need the speed. That is not enough speed. Okay. No! Okay, that could have worked if either I bounced on the rear wheel or something. I don't know about this one. Can we save it? Nope. Dang. Of course, the problem here is that I have to lean back to get traction on my rear wheel. But if I lean back too far, I'm just gonna fall off. Oh, we got it. I don't know, this might have been... <laughs> this might have been much easier with the Mantis. got to be leaning forward more when I get up onto this part. There we go. Hmm. Okay, I definitely have to drop down. You might just need to use the Mantis here. Obviously the course is possible with the Helium bike, otherwise they wouldn't let you use it, but it's just, some jumps are much easier if you have previous momentum still. How do I get enough speed for this? Like, I can't go too fast, otherwise I won't be able to jump. Oh, that was close. Do I just have to do a really, really fast hop? I mean, I could also stop and back up, but that doesn't really seem like Okay, never mind. That did work. Well, that's a surprise. Uh, let's see if I can go straight up this. See what I'm talking about? Ah! <laughs> I don't know, that still might be the best way to do it, is just really slowly go up this. Yes! Okay, bigger jump than that. 
Come on. Come on. Man, this one is just hard to get the speed and the jump on this. Am I dropping or am I jumping over that barrel? Okay, I'm dropping. <laughs> I was getting worried. But then I have to land on that like vertical container. Awesome. So I can try just landing straight down and backing up again, but... I won't have the speed. I can't back up my tire slips. Well, this is fun. Can you actually jump over this? I bet some people can. Because, like, even if I have a lot of speed, I'm just going to slam into this and bounce off it. It's really hard to... Like, that's so steep. Oh, I had that. And this is one of those obstacles where I wonder if it's actually harder or easier with the Mantis. Because you can get more speed with the Mantis, but this thing can grip so much better. Oh, right as I say it. Okay, what are we doing? Now, do we actually have to bounce off of this? Like, now, I'm just gonna hit that. So I guess I have to use that as the diving board. And... what are we doing? Checkpoint, so I don't care. But now we're going back up. Oh, fender grab! Invisible fender grab! <laughs> On other models of the bike, it actually does have kind of a fender, or like a basket thing. So it makes more sense. <laughs> no. Oh, stay, stay. There we go. Now we fall to our death, but that's okay. And we have to go straight up. Nope. No, almost. Ah. I need to get more traction on that so I can accelerate. Oh, jeez, I bounced. Oh, come on. I guess maybe I could have fender grabbed that, but it's hard to do with the helium anyway. Yes! Oh, that's it. Hey, we got it! About to erupt. Well, let's check the leaderboards. I mean, the top scores are always going to be on the heat, the uh, Mantis, I think, just because it's the fastest. But here's one on the Helium. Two on the Helium, Helium. So maybe it's not too bad on the Helium. Well, things are not looking good on the Helium. Yeah, I don't know about using the Helium on this. You just never know. Sometimes there's, like, one obstacle that's much harder with a certain bike but all the other obstacles are easier but I've never seen these tracks before I know nothing about them so I don't know what is better considering we're on the very first obstacle 
Oh, there we go. All right, we're gonna switch. By the way, on that last track, it said that I finished in 47 minutes. It didn't actually take me 47 minutes. It adds five seconds for every time you fault. So it looks like I was sitting there for an hour, but I really wasn't, even though the video is edited. Now I have to get used to this bike again. I've just been using the helium for so long. And you know, this does not actually seem easier. Thought maybe this first part would be a lot easier just because of the extra speed, but perhaps not. Ah! Uh... Oh. That was so much easier that time. Just did a much bigger bunny hop. Okay. That one, one didn't take too long. But now we're getting into obstacles where the helium would have been a little easier. Oof, got it. I have to be getting some forward momentum here. There we go. Yes, we got it. Bounces. I was hoping it was just the one. And that's still not the checkpoint? Are you kidding? Come on. Mm. And of course they have to drop that piece off. Just to screw with you. I was doing it so much better at the beginning. Yes! Not enough momentum. This might be another one that you have to do all in one go. Maybe with the helium you can grab it. Oh, oh! The problem is I have to lean back first so that I can lean forward, otherwise... If I just lean forward the whole time, I'm never going to get up this. It's just going to bounce me backwards. Okay. Oh my god, I can't believe I got that. Wow. I was actually able to lean back at the beginning and then throw my weight forward. Oh, yep, of course. Ignore me ignoring the laws of physics here. It's all fine. So I have to have my weight forward so I don't fall off this ramp. But I also have to have my weight back so that I can shift my weight forward to get over that bar. So that's fun. Oh my god, almost. Come on! Yes! We got it! Oh! Alright, well that was terrible. Alright, I guess at this point I'm glad I'm not on the helium, because... Getting the speed for this, 
then the grip would be great. The speed would probably be pretty bad. We got it! Oh! <laughs> Not even the bronze, though. Close. We needed 14 and a half minutes and we had 15 and a half minutes. Although not really, because that was actually due to the faults adding time. But hey, we passed it. Good enough for now. Storm Chaser, last one. Should we check the leaderboards again? Oh, look at that, all helium. Well, okay. There's one person with the mantis. I guess we're going helium. It's interesting that the top guys, maybe, you know, the helium's just easier, but the guys at the very top of the leaderboard, you would expect them to still be using the mantis. The thing that's nice about the first obstacle being difficult is that you can't tell how many times I've faulted on this because it always just restarts the whole track. So I could be here for an hour for all you know. That's why it's always misleading when you look at the leader, like, replays and stuff, because everybody always passes the first obstacle on their first try, obviously, because all the faults are just erased. So it looks like the first obstacle is always the easiest. Oh my god. Really? Really? There we go. So easy. Okay, how do I need to land on this? I guess like that. And we'll fault. Uh. Yeah! Okay, hold on. hey. hear the guy screaming in the background going, oh, yeah! That is not me saying that. And that is not someone in my apartment. Although I wish I had a hype man. Oh, no! There we go. I don't know if I can go up this slowly or... Ah, I almost had the grip on that. I'm trying to figure out how I'm supposed to do this. Because I have to lean forward so I can get up onto this. I almost had it, I guess. The definition of insanity. Okay, this guy is really starting to get on my nerves. Shut up, guy. And it's not my character talking, because my character is a woman. You can hear her scream when she dies. The annoying thing is, I'm probably going to learn later, this is like the easiest obstacle, and you just have to do it a certain way. And I'm just, you know, going too quickly, or, or I'm just leaning at just the wrong time. Okay, if I turn off voice audio that's rider voice and that's not the rider talking so i literally just have to turn off sound effects but that's all sound basically well i guess the bike the bike still makes noise yeah the bike still makes noise <laughs> but there's no noise from the rain or anything else. Now it's like we have some weird noise canceling headphones on and we just hear the sound of our bike. How do I do this? Like I'm afraid I'm literally gonna learn that like, oh yeah, you just hold forward the entire time and you just get up automatically and you're just dumb and you kept leaning back. Oh my god. Come on. Okay, how did I do that? 
I kind of just let go of the stick right as it, I was bouncing over that, I think. Oh, we did it. Should I turn the sound effects back on or <laughs> just leave it off for the rest of this track? If that guy is always going to be there, I think I'm just going to leave it off. And that's annoying because I almost got up that one. I guess I should stop resetting so quickly. Because I might be able to still save it. Not on something like this, though. And this gets back to the question of rear wheel bounce or both wheels. I definitely find it easier to land with both wheels if I can. Yep, that worked. Oof. So I'm not very good at rear wheel bounces. The timing is like much tighter. So I wonder if this part is why everyone uses the helium is because this part you can just climb like straight up with the helium but with the mantis. Ah shoot. How's our time? 16 minutes. Not great. So should I just slowly... No. It's so ridiculous that you can do that. Yes! We did it! Still not a bronze medal. For the record, I have gotten gold medals on all the extreme tracks in the base game. So... I'm not as bad as it seems, but this is just my first try doing all of these. And I think that's all of them. There are some new ninja tracks, but those are way too hard for me, I'm sure. Here, I'll prove it. Gold medal, gold medal, gold medal. That's from the first DLC. These are from the base game. I did not, I only played through the the DLC like one time. So yeah, at least I got a bronze on that one. Hey, quick follow up. After I recorded this video, I played the tracks a few more times and I was able to get a bronze medal on Storm Chaser. I also got a bronze medal on Frozen Leviathan and I got a gold medal on Savannah Safari. I tried the helium bike again on About to Erupt and was able to get a silver. And I actually got to the final obstacle in 4 minutes and 26 seconds, which is just a few seconds over gold. But then, of course, I failed miserably on the final obstacle, so that sucks. And then, just for good measure, I went and got a gold medal on No Fly Zone, which is an extreme track from the first DLC. Well, that's it. As you can see, the map in Trials is still kind of a mess full of icons, and I don't think they're going to do anything to clean that up. They still haven't fixed a lot of the other problems with this game. If you don't know what I'm talking about, you can watch my previous video about all the problems in Trials Rising. Despite that, it's still a really fun game.